Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to show you the Firmapile. Hi guys. So yes, the Firmapile. It uh, generates Bluetooth without solar panels. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to have in like um, an underground base, say so running all alloy wire up the wall and all that. Yeah, and it doesn't take that much resources really, does it? Nah. But the problem with this is, it is quite slow at generating the power. And I can't seem to make it go any faster. But if someone does know how to make it go faster, just um, put in the comments. Yeah, and you will need um, a blue dot wafer and a blue eye light ingot. Yeah, so you, know, you know how to make them. Do you can uh, explain this. Okay, to make the uh, wafer, you need a silicon boil, bill, or whatever it's called. I forgot what it's silicon called. Silicon bill. Bill. And yeah, that's four sand, no, eight no. sand and eight coal in an alloy furnace. Yes. And then you cut that with a diamond handsaw and it will create the silicon wafer. And then you put the silicon wafer in an alloy furnace with four nickelite and that will create, well, will make your actual um, dope wafer, your blue one. Yes. And the blue alloy is just easy. It's silver in the alloy furnace with four nickelite. Yeah. And we're oh. going to show you how this works. So we're back in tongue Barge me out of the way, do. Okay, so what you're going to need is going to need an area. And we just make a little hole in this area. Have you got a firm pile there? I've got everything I need. Oh, good. Um, with the firm pile, I'll just show you so people know, is you can actually pick it with a wooden pickaxe. Oh, yeah. Oh, Saves no. any wrenches or anything. Yeah, so in case someone was wondering. Okay, so what you're going to need is a bucket of lava. And you're going to put that under there, like that. Oh, yes. And then what we're going to do... Then you go for a swim. Uh, no. Okay. What we're going to do now is put a block there. Oh, no, Whoa! I'm yeah, I'm too quick today. No, I need that there. Oh, sorry. I'll put that. And then you put your thermopile right over the top of the lava. And now, what you do is you build this. So, that's got a gap there. Oh, yes. This has got a gap here. I'm guessing a lot of people wouldn't know how to use one of these, really, would they? To begin um, with, anyway. No, they're, they're a bit weird. Um, they're a bit awkward to like think, oh, how do I get these working? But that's why I'm doing a tutorial. Yes. So people can know. Then it's a preference of whether you want to use them or not. Okay, so what we're going to do now is put a bucket of water here, some water here. Some water there. Oh. oh. Stop playing oh, up. Oh, that's a bit buggy. Yeah, and some water there. Okay. Now, what this this is what we've got to do. You've got to put a block there and a block there. And this doesn't seem to work if you just put it like your wire like that. It doesn't seem to work for me. So what I'll do is put my blocks there like that. And i put this one so it's facing right on top of it. And then you put that one there. And then you put your back box there. Oh, yes. And it should be generating some power. Oh yeah, I can see a trickle. Yeah. So this this is um, quite slow. I've had one over there, I think it was about half an hour, uh, 45 minutes, something like that. And this is how much power I've got in so far. So you, you can see these do work. Yeah, the thing is they um, work in uh, d the night time, so... You know, you haven't always got to wait for day. Yeah, so like so you can you can have a motor underground if you want. Yeah. Yes. And um, they're quite they're quite useful. Yeah, they're really good. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm back for another tutorial very soon.